There's a whole truckload of illegal aliens trying to get here. A truckload of them are coming, and they're walking. <laughs> and so we don't want this to happen anymore. This has to stop. Build the wall. But thank God that the great white hope is in charge. But the illegal aliens are coming. The Daily Caller, uh, Trump threatened Honduras with aid cutoff over illegal caravan. Look at them. They are coming here to the greatest country in the world. This is being organized, folks. Thank God that the Democrats are not in control. They want this to happen for one reason only, not because they love the, the illegal aliens. They want the votes. November is coming, and they're trying to get as many illegal aliens as possible here in order to get the vote. And black people, be aware. If, God forbid, if they should make it here, you're going to be hurt first and foremost because they're going to end up in your community. They're going to end up affecting you, taking your job, education, health care, all that stuff. They hope to take advantage of catch and release policy and never appear in court for their asylum hearing. Trump may bring back, listen to this, the great white hope is at it again. Trump may bring back a zero tolerance policy at the border, not going to tolerate it. Zero tolerance. This is from CNN, a report on the Honduras illegals. They say migrants. I say illegal crossing into Guatemala. Guatemala. They've been traveling by foot for days. Among them, mothers carrying young children, men mothers. being pushed in wheelchairs. This group of about 3,000 Honduran migrants is headed to the United States in search of a better life, fleeing poverty and violence in their home country. The group clashed with Guatemalan police who blocked one of the border crossings. There's much corruption here in Honduras. We want to work. There is none. We want land to plant bananas, plantains, beans. There isn't any, brother. We need to migrate to another country, brother. In the hospitals, there's no security. There's nothing. Our patients die, brother. Well, go back home and, and do something about it. Don't bring your mess here. Trump tweeted a warning to Honduras. President Donald Trump threatened the Honduran government if the caravan yes, continues on, he says, tweeting... The United States has strongly informed the president of Honduras that if the large caravan of people heading to the United States is not stopped and brought back to Honduras, no more money or aid will be given to Honduras effective immediately. The Department of Homeland Security expanded on Trump's tweet, calling the caravan a, quote, result of well-advertised and well-known catch-and-release loopholes. Amazing. you got to love this president. I'm telling you, America, you give away your country to the Democrats in November. You have no one to blame but yourself. And I want you to f notice how the children of the lie, they use the mother and children and the handicap because they're trying to get to you emotionally. Don't fall for it. Go with logic, not emotions. Here's a mother of four. And this woman says, Trump has to receive us. Andrea Aleman, who's making the journey with her four children, Look believes me. she should be allowed into the U.S. We're heading to the United States. We're going to arrive with Donald Trump. He has to receive us. Just as we receive the Americans over here, they will have to accept us over there. According to the U.S. State Department, Honduras has had one of the highest murder rates in the world since 2010. The World Bank reports that over 66 percent of the population lives in poverty. Isn't that amazing? He has to receive us. So she, this redhead, I think it's redhead, coming here and on the way here telling us we have to receive them. We have no other choice. How bold is that? Do you want these type of people in your country? No, I don't. But the Democrats want them to make it to the borders so that they can get in, right? Use this fate thing called as asylum to get into our great nation. It's over. No more. 
thank God that the fallen Messiah, Barack Obama, is not in charge of our country or some liberal Democrat in charge. And all these illegals are coming here from Honduras, Guatemala, El Salvador. They will let them in at the blink, blinking of an eye. Really, they will let them in because they want to vote. So I told you about all these folks coming. Trump tweeted, we have today, we have today informed the countries of Honduras, Guatemala, and El Salvador that if they allow their citizens or others to journey through their borders and up to the United States with the intention of entering our country illegally, all payments made to them will stop. We'll end. <laughs> So amazing. And Trump tweeted, anybody entering the United States illegally will be arrested and detained prior to being sent back, sent back to their country. You got to love this, man. Can't, just listen to the tone of this uh, uh, com and compare that to weak, pathetic, po pitiful excuse of a human being, Barack Obama. The, the guy that went around the world bowing down to our enemies when he became president and apologizing for the greatness of this country. And the last one from, this is from Fox News, a Honduran ex-lawmaker who help, helped arrange the massive migrant caravan to the U.S. which is, was uh, detained by Guatemala for illegal crossing to be deported back to Honduras. I haven't heard this type of news in the last 30 to 40 years. These people have been coming to our country. The rhino Republicans have been making excuses for them because they support big business. And the Democrats have making, been making excuses for it because they wanted to vote. Isn't that amazing? We have a man who is putting the country First, thank God for the great white hope, President Donald Trump. Be aware of the children of the lie. Go to uh, my website, thefallenstate.tv. Get your T-shirts. We have different ones there. Wear them so we can remind the world to be aware of the children of the lie. The liberal media, the Me Too movement, so-called Black Lives Matter, the worst organization on this side of heaven, worse than the KKK, by the way, the uh, Democratic Party, the, the black so-called civil rights leaders, the black preachers who are not called by God, but by their mama, the liberal white ones. We got to be aware. It's a spiritual battle, a warfare between good and evil, right versus wrong. Has nothing to do with color. No such thing as racism, sexism, homophobiaism, Islamophobiaism, or dead be dadism. No isms. It's either right or wrong, good or evil. And it's evil and it's wrong to allow illegal aliens to just come into our country. Build the wall.